dude this is deep guys this is bro to fake so deliberately to so deliberately fake the second run not the first one but the second one this is a special kind of crazy is she single okay i'm gonna update you guys on this and we're gonna watch this right now because it just came out an hour ago this is breaking news guys this is this is trending on trends right now like this has 118,000 views in one hour like this is this is huge so this woman so this woman okay so to give you guys the backstory on this for those of you that don't know this is some juiced drama this is some juicy drama you guys are gonna like this this woman did a blind um run of Altaria, uh, Altrion, uh, Alatrion, um, which is the hardest boss in uh, Monster Hunter World, if you guys have ever played it, okay? I know that most of you don't care about that, but she did a blind run of this Monster Hunter World boss because, you know, she's killed it, you know, 4,193 times, you know, like, and so she thought it would be fun to do a blind run of Altarion, or Alatrion. Um, anyway, she does the run, okay? And then it comes out that somebody believes that she faked the run. Okay, so he shows all the points of the video. And to be clear, he did put, put bring out some some interesting points. Okay, he he did bring up some interesting points. Okay, then um, Asmongold picked the video up. He reacted to it. Okay, and he said, "Well, it may be real, it may be fake, but it looked like she was like ninety percent, eighty percent blind." I've been following this for a while. Okay. But, like, it did look like maybe she might be able to see a little bit. But he was like, man, it would be cool if she came back. And it's like, no, it's real. Let me do it again. And that's exactly what she did. So she went live again. She said, the haters. She did, like, a, another blindfold, two cameras, like, um, box over the monitor, blocking the monitor, whatever. Uh, or, like, okay. Does the run again. Everybody did. Asmin reacts again, goes, that was the most epic thing. That was incredible. Holy shit. That, that's insane. The, the balls on this woman. You know what I mean? Then it comes out that she faked the second one. Right? Then Carl Jobs picks it up. This is a known... This guy does, like... He knows a tremendous amount about blind speedruns. Uh, if you guys don't know who Carl is, um, he does, he's, he has a lot of experience with blind speedruns. He's an, a huge content creator. And he assessed that her first run was definitely faked. He, he felt like it was faked, okay? And he put out a video on that, okay? And I have to say that he did bring up some interesting points. And he said that his second video, proving that she faked not only the first run, but also the second blind run, was coming out today. It just dropped, boys. We're on it. This is gonna be juice. This is some juicer drama. I mean, let's be honest, guys. If you faked a blind run, not once, but then had the balls to do it twice in front of everyone. Honestly, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed, but let's see. Last month, the streamer known as Queen Ponzalot pretended to be the dragon Alatreon wearing a blindfold. This garnered her quite a lot of attention, but when people experienced with the game she was playing and those experienced in... Sorry. Asmin. Blindfold speedrunning saw her video. They realized immediately. How do you fake something like this though? Is it pre recorded? I don't know. He's going to explain it to us. He said it's really obvious. It was fake. Unfortunately, Queen Ponzalot's effort of faking a blindfolded run was extremely poor. Not only was she using strategies that are just flat out impossible to use while blind, but the blindfold she was using was so thin and of. <laughs> See, he makes an excellent point, guys. Like, like <laughs> that was her first run. That was her first Obviously run. fake. Even we, the viewers, could see straight through it. Soon enough, people were making videos calling out her fake run, and Queen Ponzalot was beginning to get quite a lot of negative attention. As it turns out, the public doesn't appreciate liars and people who try to fake gaming accomplishments for clout. After receiving backlash, Queen Ponzalot fought back, announcing that she was going to do another blindfolded run of the Dragon Alatreon, but this time with more proof. On the 14th of February, she went 
live, and she was stacked to the gills with iron-clad anti ch all right, all, right, all right, so this is what the second one looked like, guys. And again, I've been following this since the beginning. All right, the the, the blindfold looks pretty legit. She's got the, the 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 things here. She's got a cover for the for the monitor as well. Eight measurements. This time she wore a genuine blindfold. She had a hand cam. She had input display. She had paper covering up her monitors. And she was live. Surely there was absolutely no way she could cheat. And with all of- No way she could dodge that blindfolded? What a clown. No, so she was saying that like the monster sounds a certain way and makes certain noises when they attack so she knows when to dodge. And in fairness, she has done it 4,611 times. Um... Uh, what uh, Carl tries to point out a lot is that, like, although humans can detect sound, um, you can't actually pinpoint an exact location. Our ears are just not got that good. We're not bats. You know what I mean? It, like, you can tell generally where a sound has come from, but, like, how many of us have heard a sound at, like, a park or something, and yeah, initially you're like, okay, it came from that. Oh, there it is. You know what I mean? Like, you, you generally know where it is, but, like, not really. So if you're truly blindfolded, Carl was making the point that, like, you actually can't tell where the monster is uh, necessarily because, like, like, just based on your hearing. Like, pe people who have never done blindfolded runs say this all the time. And uh, to be honest, I trust Carl's uh, opinion because I've, I watch a lot of Carl's videos, so. Of this in place. She but, like, she also, you'll notice that the most egregious thing to me that Carl pointed out on her last run is that the camera never looks up. Try to do a blindfold at anything and try to keep the camera oriented the correct way. Inevitably, anything that happens, like if you blindfold yourself, even just do it in BDO right now. If you blindfold yourself, move the mouse around a bunch, okay? Then try to orient your character correctly, unblindfold yourself and see how close you got, right? Like at no point was she ever staring at the ceiling for like an extended period of time or looking at the ground or disoriented in any way. She was always looking basically directly at the monster. That was probably the most egregious thing that I saw that Carl pointed out. So, like, this is the second one. She did it again. What up, Gwen? She beat the dragon Alatreon in front of hundreds of people. She was so... This is the second time, guys. This is the second time. Convincing that it seemed like everyone... Oh, no, no, she has auto-target turned off. Most blindfolded runners turn auto-target on to avoid that, like, calibrating. You know what I mean? Like, that to avoid that. She has it off the whole time. And she says, it's off, right? That's impressive, though. Uh, it is impressive. Like, everyone now believes... I'm impressed she's, like, trying to fool everybody if that's true. Believed she was. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think after this video, because he's going to prove to us... He said he's going to prove that she faked the second one, too. Legit. But anyway, yeah, it looks like the Altrion blindfold kill was actually real. It did actually happen. Maybe. Yeah, so, like, again, this is... A Aspen's been following this whole thing. I have been watching it vicariously through him the whole time. We got it wrong. Maybe Queen Ponzalot was just more gifted than everyone else, and she could really do things blindfolded that no one else could. Or maybe, just maybe, she just cheated again, and we don't know how. Honestly, when I first saw her new successful attempt, I didn't know how she did it. But I did know two things. One, her gameplay was impossible to do blind. And two, people always underestimate the autistic power of speedrunners. I was committed to finding out how this was done. I envisioned sophisticated cheating methods that would be impossible to detect. I, I love Carl. I, I love Carl, man. He just, he just weaves his jokes in. Uh... I figured that whatever Queen Ponzalot did must be pretty genius to fool everyone so easily. Yeah, For three true. days, I meticulously studied her video. I worked with experts to clarify game mechanics. I spoke with programmers to see if we could replicate her run using advanced software. But I was getting nowhere. And then, after 72 hours of running into dead ends, I finally saw it. I noticed that Queen Ponzalot did something that gave everything away. The curtain was lifted, and the magician had exposed her secrets. I had the smoking gun, and within 20 minutes of seeing Queen Ponzalot do this one thing, we knew exactly how she did it, and we had the proof. As it turns out, I was on the wrong track the entire time. I thought the method she used must have been smart because no one detected it. But in the end, it turned out to be the simplest and dumbest method I could have imagined. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how Queen Ponzalot faked her most recent blindfolded takedown of the dragon. This is so juicy. This is so 
Juicy dude. Bag in Ella Treon. And I guarantee that you'll be shocked at just how many things she did to try and fool you. I really hope you enjoy. In my previous video, we looked at Queen Pongelot's earlier blindfolded runs, where she used a really thin, transparent sheet of material to cover her eyes and Bro. pretended that she couldn't see. In this case, it was so easy to debunk because everyone can just use their own eyes and see that her blindfold was fake. As far as her, That's, that is true. her I gameplay was concerned, it's also really obvious that she can see as well. She claims to use the audio to know exactly where the monster is, but years of blindfolded competition tells us that this is impossible. I also highlighted that beyond knowing where the monster is, it's also impossible to detect whether you are looking up or down. So if you see a blind... All things that I have already explained to you guys. I told you, I've been following this from the beginning. ...folded player using their mouse to look up or down, you know they can see. In her latest attempt... The Thundercock... Yeah, exactly. The Star Force penis logo. ...we see all of those impossible gameplay mechanics in action once again. And in some cases, it's even worse. She will access the menu in order to use items... Don't spoil... I haven't seen the video yet. This just came out. This and is mess new. up with the camera and then immediately and perfectly fix it. She even does this when the dragon is not making any sounds at all. So there is quite literally no audio cue, like in this example. Our crayon's ready in a big attack. Beyond the impossible vertical movement, we also see crazy head tracking in real time. That is just laughable. I mean, just look at yeah. this gameplay. That's. In the last clip, she is rolling underneath the dragon, keeping the camera on its head perfectly as she does it. It's hilarious. And remember, looking up does nothing. It doesn't let her hit any higher. So there is literally no point in doing this other than to see the head, which makes no sense if you're blindfolded. All of this- He does make an excellent point. Seems very confusing because she appears to be wearing a proper blindfold. And as I mentioned before, her monitors are even covered up with paper, meaning that she can't see them anyway. This led me to consider other ways she might be playing without seeing. One way would be some kind of aimbot. Aimbots are. I would think it would be like pre recorded, right? If you were going to do it, you just pre record it and just pretend. Common in many games, so it's possible if she had some kind of sophisticated software, it could help her aim on the dragon. This would solve the problem of locating the dragon and also solve the vertical aiming issue. However, this wouldn't solve all of the problems, like being able to dodge attacks that don't have sound cues. In one instance, she accidentally hooks onto Alatreon's leg instead of its head, and immediately releases before targeting the head again. But there is no audible difference between hooking onto the leg or the head, so there is no way she should have known. In order to solve issues like this, I theorized that maybe someone was talking to her and giving her instructions through Discord, with someone in her ear and some aim assist software you okay. might be able to play like this without True. sight i reached out to monster hunter world expert tsc who actually developed the first known aimbot of the game According to him, if she was using an aimbot to achieve this effect, it would require software far more sophisticated than- Yeah, I'm making a little short video for you, but I honestly doubt they're using an aimbot. They must be doing something else because honestly, them making or knowing somebody who would make something this sophisticated in this community is unheard of since I basically have worked with many of the game's tool makers. Uh, the tool would honestly be harder or just as hard to, uh, as the run itself. It's probably something obvious, but yeah, we can talk. ...than anyone in the community currently possesses. It seems unlikely that this was the method. The most common theory I saw online was that she was using pre-recorded gameplay. Yeah. Maybe she beat Alatreon earlier and just played that gameplay footage during her live stream. Something like this has been done before. I even... I know this guy! This guy admitted he, this was during GDQ. This was literally during GDQ. He didn't even get caught. He self-reported himself. They didn't even catch him. And made a video about a speedrunner who cheated by using a pre-recorded run during a live charity marathon. However, I didn't believe this was the case. Queen Pongelot had two cameras and they were both completely in sync. I studied her mouse movements and they always seemed to match what was going on in the game. And so did her keyboard inputs. Her mouse sensitivity was very high, so a lot of movements are hard to see, but I couldn't see any discrepancies. It did appear as though she was actually playing. In my opinion, this also ruled out the idea 
idea that someone else was playing instead of her, perhaps okay. by using remote assistance. This is an idea that the YouTuber Abisoft spent some time investigating to see if it could work. But aside from her mouse movements matching her gameplay, latency issues would also be a huge problem. Some people suggested that she was using a magician's blindfold and she could see through it. But this is extremely unlikely. Her blindfold doesn't look like any fake blindfold I could find, and we know what blindfold she has because it was recommended to her. Blindfolded expert Mitris has the exact same one, and it looks exactly the same. One other thing people noticed, and trust me, we noticed this immediately too, is that after Queen Ponzalot killed Alatreon and lifted the paper up, there was something on her screen. And it seemed like she noticed this and moved the paper back down to try and hide it. I pause it. What is on the screen? And what is on the thing? Is Monster Hunter on her screen? And then watch what happens. She puts it back down to cover. She's quickly trying to hide it. And then the game comes back up on screen. This is the Windows Start menu. Oh no. Oh no. Caught in 4K! And the reason it appeared is because she hit the Windows key. In fact, she hits the Windows key multiple times throughout her blindfolded attempts. This bugged the hell out of us, and we had no idea why she was doing it. Could this have something to do with how she was faking her gameplay? At seemingly random times, she would hit the Windows key, which would tap her out of the game. This caused her inputs to stop working. She would then need to hit the Escape key to try and get back into the game. Watch this clip where she hits the Windows key Key and then spends 10 seconds trying to get the game to work again. But it still matches what's going on on the screen, though. This is bizarre, and she does this multiple times it without is ever mentioning it. How many gamers do you know that hit the Windows key by accident this frequently? She acts as if this really weird thing that she is doing isn't happening, which is obviously really suspicious. Ultimately, it seems like this is some kind of unrelated tech issue that she was having with her eye tracker. Multiple times before she even started her blindfolded attempts, we can see her hitting the- like, This is someone that has done this boss 4,608 times, and I bet she probably doesn't hit the Windows key very often in the other runs. Windows key in order to fix something. I do when I have long claw nails on. Yeah, but you're like Cruella Deville, so. She even mentioned it earlier in her stream. We needed to fix the Toby. Like, like Laffy, when I click on your stream, I, I half expect you to go spots. You know what I mean? I think this tech issue has nothing to do with her blindfolded attempts. But an important question to ask is how did she know there was a problem? She was blindfolded and couldn't see, but knew there was some kind of technical issue and always tried to fix it. And she said she did all of this without looking and without saying anything to her audience. It's all really bizarre. In the end, it however, after discovering the truth, I realized this was a giant red herring. Oh after my God, bro. Just get, tell me. What is it? After several days of brainstorming, I was beginning to run out of ideas. But then, in the middle of the night, I revisited a question I had from day one. There was something that Queen Ponzalot did that was really strange, and I couldn't figure it out. Immediately after she covers her main monitor with paper, while she is attempting to distract her viewers, she holds down her left mouse button for 10 seconds. This was actually one of the very first things I noticed when investigating her run, but I never had an answer as to why she did it. Normally, when you hold a button down for a few seconds, it activates something. And this was one of the reasons I thought she was using some kind of software. But I had overlooked something that was so obvious and so simple, I can't believe I didn't see it immediately. Once I understood what she was doing, it was game over. Holding her mouse button down for 10 seconds told me everything I needed to know. Oh, it unlocked all of her secrets. It revealed to me that there was in fact a third hidden monitor and clicks the right mouse button oh my god i think i know there's a third monitor oh boy queen pones a lot wants us to believe that she only has two monitors when she i have five monitors two for the stream pc and then three for the main covers PC. them up she makes sure to verbally state that her monitor on the left has all of her other stuff on it to the main 
attraction as we get our duct tape for our main monitor because yeah there's the other one so you guys know there it is with all my other stuff on it boom this is a lie. In truth, she has a third monitor to her right, off camera. Before she covers it with paper, we can see that her main monitor has her OBS streaming software on it. Okay. This shows her gameplay, and it also has her Twitch chat docked into it as well. One thing that struck me as odd is how she just You can do that? You can put your Twitch chat? I guess you can. So I I've never done that before. Wait until her monitors were covered with paper before setting everything up. This makes no logical sense, and she even tries to act like this wasn't on purpose. Yeah, that's weird. No problem. All right. Uh, all right. Cool. Now, all right. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I didn't think this through. But the reason she did this is because she had to ensure that what she did was hidden from the camera. This is where the beauty of the input display comes in, because we can still see everything she's doing. But it's really? obvious she is trying to hide it. What she does next is very sneaky. She lifts up the paper on her main monitor, which has her OBS on it. She clicks on her OBS window and holds down the mouse key. Then, while she is holding down the mouse button, she distracts her audience with- <gasps> She moved the mouse to the right the verbal diarrhea where is that's why we go through what we go through right you know and it's the way that it has to be and uh i've never been la so laser focused on a woman's hand in my life boys Next is the key that I should have seen immediately. What is the most common thing you do when you hold down your mouse button? You drag a window. You're moving something. While talking, she drags her OBS to her hidden monitor on the right. We can confirm this with the input display. We can see her hand move it to the right, and she even looks at her hidden monitor on the Oh my god! The right when she does this. That's why we go through what we go through, right? You know? And it's the way Okay, but it still doesn't explain it. So, she has an extra monitor. Okay, but she's still blindfolded. Has to be. And, uh... She will use her OBS on the hidden monitor to see the game. Immediately after this, she pretends to move the OBS to her left monitor. Alright, uh... Move that over. Okay. Sure, it's this. Okay. I'm sorry. She moves her mouse to the left, she looks to the left, and she even says that she's moving something. However, we can see on the input display, she doesn't even click her mouse. God. Dude. This is deep, guys. This is... Bro, to fake so deliberately. To so deliberately fake the second run. Not the first one, but the second one. This is a special kind of crazy. Is she single? Move that over. Okay. I can now, fix despite her. the fact her monitor on the right is supposed to be a secret, she cannot help but stare at it constantly. She even responds to this exact message in chat while looking at it. I would However, 1000% upload your run, including this whole setup you did, just entirely unedited, but that's probably already been told. Since she realizes how stupid this is and stops talking. Alright. Oh, yeah. Everything, everything will be unedited. After panicking and thinking for 10 seconds, she tries to fix this mistake and pretends she read the message from the monitor on the left. Oh my God. You know, human beings are creatures of habit. Balefire, this is somebody that supposedly faked a blindfolded run of Altrion, uh, Alatrion, uh, which is the hardest boss in Monster Hunter. Not once. This is the second time. The second time. Oh, yeah. Everything... everything she tried to prove all the haters wrong, and then this is like the debunk video. Everything will be unedited. She's looking to her right. She's definitely looking at chat on the right. What was the last thing you said? Unedited. 
The funny thing about Queen Pongelot reading chat from her hidden monitor is that it's completely unnecessary. There is no need to have chat there in the first place, and it just causes her to constantly look at it, making it obvious it's there. And it also causes her to screw up by responding to it. I'm guessing she just couldn't help herself, and she really wanted to see all of her fans talking about her as she was playing. So we know that she has a monitor to her right, but how does she see it? Well, the secret is in how she's wearing her blindfold. She's wearing it very, very loosely. It's barely able to stay on her face, and on top of that, she wears it very high. This is not how you're supposed to wear a blindfold. Anyone who owns a blindfold like this knows you don't wear them loose, you wear them tight. If you wear them loose, light gets in. By wearing her blindfold loose, she can see through a small gap between her nose and the blindfold. The game adjusts has all no shit no way already replicated right now. her exact setup in his case he showed his two monitors which he turned off he wore a proper blindfold he used the exact same input display and he had a hand cam with all of this he also killed Alatreon in expert fashion Here, he explains how he did it. As you can see now, my monitors are off and I'm blindfolded, but um, despite my short-sightedness without glasses, I can clearly see these targets and shoot at them. And why is that? It's because... Jesus Christ, dude. Never underestimate the power of gamers on the internet who don't have lives, man. They will just, they will research everything. This is crazy. Because this is uh, this goes back to Shia LaBeouf flag incident. People are tracking flight paths. There's a secret here. Right now, I'm wearing the blindfold, right? But I can see out the gaps between my nose and my blindfold. And if I wore it even looser, I'd be able to see out the sides left and right in my peripheral vision. And then the next step of the trick is the fact that another thing you guys noticed there's two monitors here, right? But they're not the only ones. And the third monitor on my left. On top of wearing her blindfold very loosely, Queen Ponzalot also sits back in her chair and- True, she's leaning. Yeah, look, look, she's leaning so that she can see them. Looks up in an unnatural way. This is to get a better viewing angle. Before her attempt with the new blindfold, she had spent around one hour playing with her old blindfold over multiple days and weeks. And for that entire time, she always sat like this. She was leaning forward and looking directly in front of her. This True. is because while her blindfold was partial, she's got to be able to see the screen through all the threads. You know what I mean? It's harder. <laughs> obscuring her sight, she could see straight through it and was looking at the monitor directly in front of her. With the new blindfold, she can't see through the front of it, which is why she has now completely changed her sitting position so she can see down and to the side. This is not a normal way to sit, and world-class blindfold speedrunner Bubsia confirms that when you see someone sitting in this position, it's a giant red flag. And uh, if I curve up even more, but that's already looking very sus, I guess, if you, if you sit there like your neck breaking. Uh, if I sit like this, for example, I can see half of my monitor. Um, I, can, I can see OBS right now, literally. I can see the volume meters going up. I can see the picture. This is crazy. This is insane. The fact that somebody couldn't just say, yeah, I faked it. You know what I mean? Nah, you went back and did it again and tried to deep fake uh, it. If I turn a bit, I can see the other monitor. And it's as simple as that. There is a hidden monitor on the right, and she is playing through her OBS, which she discreetly moved to it. I can't believe I spent so much time researching aimbots when the solution was so stupidly basic. And while it's so easy just to say there was a hidden monitor, which some people did, it's an entirely different story to provide concrete evidence. The fact that we can literally see her move OBS to the- Yo, Kurt Dobain, thanks for the Prime sub, man. I appreciate you dropping it here, man. Nothing makes me wetter than a new Prime sub. Hidden screen. 
screen, the fact that she reads chat from it, the fact that she stares at it constantly, the fact that she wears her blindfold so loosely, and the fact that she sits in such a weird position, all prove beyond a reasonable doubt that this is the way she cheated. But here is my favorite part. After she has killed Alatreon, and while paper is still covering her screen, she looks directly at the hidden monitor and moves the camera around perfectly. It's like she's not even trying to hide it. Yep. Look, look at her eye. Like, like I'm I mean, I do this too. I'm a creator. I don't know how OBS works. And moves the camera around perfectly. It's like she's not even trying to hide it. And beyond all of this, the simple fact remains the way she played the game is impossible to do if you can't see. Now let's be real for a second. At the end of the day, this entire thing isn't a big deal. This is just silly, fun internet drama, and it's just really interesting to learn how Queen Pongelot faked her blindfold run. I completely agree, bro. Like, I, I, like, it's, it's not really, it's so stupid. It's dumb as hell. But that's why it d requires my undivided attention. Personally, I'm not emotionally charged about this. I just love trying to expose video game fraudsters because I enjoy it. This whole back and forth is honestly really entertaining. But make no mistake, her behavior is not healthy, and it's not a good thing. There are gamers who spend thousands of hours legitimately trying to do amazing things without the ability to see. Blindfolded gaming takes a lot of hard work, and it takes a lot of ingenuity. And Queen Pones a lot keeps taking a giant steaming dump on all of their efforts. Because of her actions, people are going to trust the accomplishments of real gamers even less. Skepticism will disproportionately rise, and the public will become even more cynical. But on the flip side, maybe that's a good thing. The amount of people who threw common sense to the wayside and took her runs at face value is pretty shocking. Maybe people do need to be a bit more skeptical. And maybe this lesson was an important- Ah, uh, you'd be surprised what people will believe on the internet. They put it in a video, people just believe shit. You could just put words on a screen with cut Discord screenshots and people will believe anything you have to say about it. It's crazy. No evidence, no, 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 like, fact-checking. It's wild. What up, Saker? Important one to learn. Let me know what you think in the comments. I worked with a group of gamers who helped me do research for this video, including the YouTuber Abisoft, who is also releasing a video about this most recent run. I know for a fact he is including many details I haven't mentioned myself, so if you want to learn even more, please go and check out his video as well. The link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching, you legend. Oh my god. Bro, what an insane run. I can't wait for the third run, guys. Is anyone else excited for the third Altrion blindfolded run? I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. The third run is gonna go so hard. There is... <laughs>